Hello everyone, it is the Banty Guy here, and welcome to my walkthrough, obviously, of The Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. So, this is a game that I absolutely adore, and I uh, thought, what better for my first walkthrough? So, yeah, now, just check the options here. What is happening? Uh, right, so, sorry. Uh, so I'll put subtitles on, and difficulty, hard. Yeah, I'm going to be doing this on hard difficulty, or at least seeing if I can. I've, I've never actually played through this game on hard difficulty. I've played through it many a time on medium, never on easy, because easy difficulty is not for people who are experienced gamers like moi. So uh, let's go back to the uh, main menu, if it will load. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. New game. And we start off in a region, and hopefully this will be an interesting walkthrough. It's my first, so hopefully you enjoy it. The world of Middle Earth. I'm just gonna skip that. Hopefully you don't mind. Welcome, warrior of Gondor. Your road here will not be an easy one. Much will be risked in the war that is to come. But you will justify my trust. This I sense with all my heart. We're screwed. Stand aside, creature. You are in my way. Yeah, I think our heroes are just, just a wee bit cocky, and that's not always good for you. So, not much we can do at the start here, but as you can probably tell by the uh, turn counter in the top right there, this is a turn-based Lord of the Rings RPG, and it's one of my favourite games ever. So we've got attack, taunt, and skip. So let's attack Ring Wraith number one. And he's totally immune to anything we do, so great. And exactly 177 damage. Damn. We're so dead. Oh, well, who's this? Return to the shadow, slave of Sauron. Well, that's a lot of rubbish because she doesn't actually get that move until pretty much the end of the game, so. We have a continuity error there. And that's going to be a common theme you'll find with this game. Continuity is thrown at the window. But it's a video game, so who cares? What grace has been given to me? Let it pass to him. Let him be spared. To you I bestow this gift of my people. It braces the soul and binds the hearts of others. I live because of your bravery, my lady. What favor might I grant you? There is no time. Hurry, we must find your equipment and heal your wounds. Good call. So here we are in the world. Adventure mode. Here you will travel across Middle Earth, find hidden items, and battle groups of foes. Scenes. Gandalf the Grey speaks to you of events in Middle Earth. View these scenes in the epic scenes section of the menu. Now, they are pretty epic, but I won't be showing those due to copyright reasons, so sorry guys, but no, we won't be watching those through pretty much the entire walkthrough. So, here we are in the world, and um, yeah, so, so let's go, and if we go to the main menu, you can see we've got stats, pretty classic stuff. Um, yeah, both Barathor and Idreal. Uh, equipment, use item, skills, quests, and the scenes, of course. And options. Just making sure. Hard difficulty. Alright. So let's go. Chests. Chests contain items of value. Enemies will often lurk nearby, so be wary. Okay. Barathor. Third Age. 
Gondorian Scouting Shield. Basically, it looks exactly like the sort of shield uh, uh, Boromir had. As you can see there, quite obviously, same model. Anyway, let us go through the world. And you see that Palantir in the top left hand corner? That appears when enemies are nearby. We've got this lovely intro here to the first battle of the entire game. So, we're now, as you can see, we've got a lot of other things. And that skill Idriel gave to Barathor was called Leadership. But I don't think we'll need that at the moment, because basically leadership increases the skills of your party. As you can see by the green glowing icons. And the uh, in Swordcraft, obviously that's an attack, so a yellow icon appears on one of the enemies. So let's attack with Guardian Strike. 44 damage, not bad. Adriel, Fluid Strike. And now I think you pretty much get the gist of how this works. Now Adriel has a different skill, she's got Spirit Powers. Gift of Elrond, partially heal one member of your party. Loud Order Fury, call a spirit, call a water spirit to attack rather. So let's uh, give Berthor his health back. Alright. Attack! See, so basically, Idriel's a healer and Berthor is a uh, warrior. As is probably pretty obvious. And that's the first battle done. Ah, indeed. And so, here's the experience we earned. Now, as you can see, because Berathor killed the enemy, he got more experience. He got 528, and she got 480 in experience. And we, the treasure we acquired from that battle was two Lambas. Action points. Using special attacks in combat costs action points. Certain items, such as Lambas, or skills, can restore a character's action points. So basically, if you uh, have HP and you take damage, depending on how much HP you have depends on how many attacks you can take, how many action points you have depends on how many skills you can use. Here's a chest here, make sure you don't ever miss that. Look at the lovely water effects. I think it was this, this was one of the first games to have decent water effects. So I think it came out in like 2003, I think. So just... Or 2004, maybe. I think it was 2004 actually. But anyway, it was, it was a year after the final Lord of the Rings movie came out. And obviously there's enemies looking by that chest, so let's fight them. Bring them down. Ah, we don't have many action points. Right, well, the classes of enemies are defined by the colour of their name. And I'm pretty sure green is weaker than blue. The really powerful enemies will have orange or red writing, but uh, I think... Archer Rabble is weaker than Sword Rabble, so we'll take out the Archer first. Or at least we'll try to. Whoa. Damn. Double crit. Well, that certainly finishes him off. Attack! Critical. Now one of the things that makes this game quite hard is the number of times characters miss. Now it's not a problem here, but later on in the game it becomes a real hazard. And you'll see what I mean as we go through the game. And a critical hit to finish. Well done, Berathor. And as we do this lovely swordcraft skill at the end to show everyone that you are a badass and every single character has a different animation as you will see we got some ent draft file from that as well more lambas look at that for a troll long bottom leaf now before we go any further we've leveled up and in leveling up, you get these uh, stat points. At the moment, we've got two for Berthor and two for Idriel. So as you can see, pretty basic. If you're if you played any RPG ever, you will know a lot about these stats. So strength, 
Increases a character's base damage with both ranged and melee weapons. Spirit. Increases a character's maximum AP along with an increased in base spirit power damage. Constitution. Greatly increases a character's max HP and increases his defense against spirit power attacks. Right, so... I wouldn't normally do this, but because we're playing through this on hard, I'm going to put it all in Constitution for Berathor. Because we desperately need it. And for Idrael, Constitution. Because without it, we'll get slaughtered, honestly. And Equipment. Pendant. And that's it. I heard a voice. On the road. Yes, I know. Who could it? Patience. I'm looking for Boromir of Gondor. Have you seen him? No. But I do see orcs ahead. How? How would you see... I mean, that's the one thing that was confusing about the elves. How do they have, like, vision to see stuff in the future? It doesn't make much sense to me, but anyway. Let's do some sword attacks, get rid of the archers. And now, Berathor, you're going to be using some leadership, my friend. So, Company Might increases all damage... Uh, no, sorry, increases all attack damage done by the party. Basically. Jaw! Be sure to kill every orc you find. And will I give Verathor some of his health back? Guardian Strike. Finish that orc! Always get rid of the weaker uh, minions first. Or an orc bane, that'll be useful. I think I'm gonna heal myself actually, or as Idriel, heal Idriel. That was pathetic. <laughs> you see that, he just, he, just he, he couldn't even be bothered to get close. Well, all I can do is attack at the moment, so that's what I'll do. For a nice critical hit there. Heal him! Heal him! Hamehameha! We'll soon have that orc killed. Heal Berathor! Heal him! And that's the third battle out of probably a few thousand done. Level up. Two level ups. What do we get for that? Some Lambus and King Spoil. Saving your game. Save points such as these allow you to save your game. Uh, do you remember that, people at home? Do you remember when games had save points? Good times. Make sure to get that chest there, it's quite easy to miss that. Slime of Orthanc. I think that increases piercing damage or something. So we've leveled up. Put one in strength, one in constitution. Because that, that, that's how I have Berthor. I have Berthor a strength and constitution build, whereas Idriel, I have her as a more sort of spirit and speed build. But again, for the purposes of the walkthrough, one spirit, one constitution. Because again, without it, we'll get absolutely massacred. Another good thing about save points is that save points also replenish all your health and HP, so very useful for that.
Really, that the, yeah, something you're going to see a lot of is just going to be the uh, save point screens. Indeed. Weapons. Provisions. The elves are very resourceful. Long have we kept such way stations for times of great need. I am Berethor, captain of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. And I am Idriel. I serve Galadriel, Lady of Light. Take what you need, and let us be on our way. Well, it's not posh at all. I serve Galadriel, Lady of Light. I mean, okay, maybe, maybe not quite as Irish as that. Items in Adventure Mode. Acquire items that can be used while exploring to heal and regain action points. Press triangle to access them in the main menu. Leaf of Old Toby. Items in Battle Mode. Use the item command in combat to heal companions, harm enemies and enchant abilities. Kings for Leaves and Leaves of Lambas. Erethor, Gondorian Steel Citadel Guard Pauldrons. Very helpful. And more Lambas. Even spies! My caravan is in danger! Those crows seem guided by some fell purpose. It is the hand of Isengard. The white wizard has betrayed us. Hurry! <laughs> oh my god, like that. Hurry! No, thank you, I don't want to watch your epic scene. And as much as I do like this game and I want to show as much as it off as possible, you'll have to buy the game to find out what those epic scenes are, because, um, you know, they're epic. And I don't want to ruin any of the game's awesome secrets. Got something for Edrail there. End draft file. Okay. King's Foil leaves. Right. But I mean, you see that one uh, there? Quite easy to miss. And I mean, as every little helps, as Tesco says. But if you're unfamiliar with Tesco's, it's a uh, British supermarket chain. Some better pauldrons. And obviously that's just better. Anyway, let us progress on. So yeah, Tesco's are a uh, British supermarket, in case you were wondering. Badass. I love this line here. This what the orc says. You'll pay for that, you scum. Sounds like a cockney guy. I know what Curse of Warthank does. Basically, it makes our attacks do less damage, which is a uh, irritating to say the least. But as always. Let us destroy the minions, and I'm actually going to use Loudwater Fury. Damn it. Didn't kill him. Do some company might to regain our strength. Alright. Actually, we don't need to do a gunny strike, we just attack that guy. Basically, that's their form of leadership. It increases their momentum and attack power. Very irritating. And yeah, he's just gonna spam that. Curse of Orthanc. Coward. Anyway, let's... Yeah, let's do some Orc Bane. Hundred and twenty three. That's good damage. And now we're into the missing phase where basically all the characters miss every attack. Irritating to say the least. That's him done. Now let's do some orc bane. Get rid of that irritating captain. Oh my goodness, this guy has a ton of health. I 
mean, it doesn't really matter how many turns he has because he can't really kill us. He'd, he'd need like 10 or 11 turns to kill us. You see, you see how much health he has. An orc lesser captain. You can just keep attacking this guy until the end of time, pretty much. Your powers are no match for our combined strength, you lesser captain. Oh, and by the way, even if a character dies, the character does still get HP, in case you were wondering, because that might be a thing that could come up later. But yeah, if a character dies, they still get HP. HP, rather? XP. Experience. Level up. Idril didn't level up. Anyway, Idril and Barrow have got some new stuff. It'll trouble you no longer. You have found him. What do you mean by that? It is nothing. Hasten to Rivendell. I have cleared the road for you. I am grateful. But you must return now to the passes. We saw evidence of recent battle there. Come, Gondorian. Some may still survive. Leveling up. When a character has accumulated enough experience points, they will level up and will gain stat points, which allow you to increase your character's stats. I think we went over that already. Quest completed. Defend the Elven Caravan. Bertha got some experience. No, thank you. So let's level them up. Uh, constitution. Definitely. Let's give them the stuff. Now, if you want to see the details, you can hit square. So increases dexterity by one. Not bad. And that's just generally better. More dexterity. Always good. Now, because Edril didn't level up, one of the problems here is that she's got not many AP or HP, so we have to go to the use item screen and uh, get her back up to full power. Alright. I think we're now ready, and uh, if you want to see the quests, you go to the quest bit here until we're in Region. Oh, I've unlocked a bit of East Moria, but as you can see, quite a few levels to go yet. Anyway, Region. So we've completed two out of these five quests. We've started Rescue at Cadras Pass, Collect Elf Artifacts, and Hunt the Wildman. That's the one we're going to be doing now. So there are uh, a few wildman packs around here, and we're going to make sure that they die. So Ent Bark. So here we are against two wildmen, and uh, I think we'll use some loud water fury. Now obviously Orc Bane is only useful against Orcs, so we're just going to use some Guardian Strike for this particular bit. Let's get some company might go in here. Alright. A nice critical hit to finish there. Still up, Barathor. He's gonna need it. Hundred forty damage. That's pretty good. That sword obviously is gonna help the Athelian longsword. Now Barathor's run out of action points, so he's just gonna be attacking. And that's that done. Hooray! Idri level up. And we've got some Lang Bottom Leaf. One out of three warbands defeated. Leaves of Lambas. Alright. So I think that'll pretty much do it for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed part. I hope you've enjoyed part one of my Lord of the Rings: The Third Age walkthrough. I've been the Banta Guy, and I'll see you guys later.